Hello all you Volkswagen enthusiasts. Feast your eyes on another great find by Milton Auto Sales. This is a 2009 Volkswagen Jetta TDI finished in laser blue metallic exterior with an art gray interior. This is a very desirable color combination. And the Jetta is the top seller in its segment. And this being a turbo diesel is making it even more desirable. Got the original window sticker here. You'll see that it on average is 29 in the city with the ability to go up to 34 miles per gallon. 40 miles per gallon on the highway and up to 47 on the highway. It says expected range for most drivers. However, I can tell you I've driven these cars to Atlanta from Punta Gorda, which is a little over around 700 miles on less than a tank of fuel. And I squeezed out a little over 50 miles per gallon driving about 60, 65 miles an hour. This car has a clean auto check report showing no accidents. It's been very well maintained. Inside the glove box, I'll show you that I have the original owner's manual and a stack of records dating back to when this vehicle was new. So it has been fully serviced and cared for by a VW dealer. It's nicely equipped. Uh, it does have the iPod adapter and it does have the uh, six-speed DSG automatic transmission with Tiptronic. I have driven this vehicle to and from Fort Myers for the past week and have not had any problems with it whatsoever. It starts up very easily, runs very smooth, gets outstanding fuel economy, and uh, I'll tell you what, it's, it's a joy to drive. I'm going to hate to see this one go, so I really love this color combo. And when I drove it into the VW dealer, everybody came running out to look at it. Very pretty car. No dings going down the driver's side or on the trunk, hood, or roof. As you look down the passenger side, there's one very minor ding. Not even really anything to have any concern with, but we don't want you to have any surprises. You've got one ding right there. I don't even know if you can see it. Paint looks fantastic. It has a nice deep glossy shine, so you can see my reflection in there. Wheels don't have any curb rash on them, on any of them. Front tires have about 30 to 40 percent of the tread life remaining, and you'll see in the eBay ad that I'd take a picture of the side view of each tire and the tread of each tire, so you're not guessing as to what you're buying. When you bid, you're letting us know that uh, you've seen all of our pictures in this video and that you're agreeing to the condition of this car. Rear tires look like they have about 85 to 90 percent of their tread remaining, so these must have been fairly new. They must have rotated them to the back, as you can see there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous car. No warning lights on the dash. What I love about the Jettas too is let me show you how wide these doors open. If someone wants to get in that car, it is so easy. It's almost 90 degrees. I mean, that's, that's probably an 80 degree deal there and probably 70 right here. So getting in and out of the vehicle is super easy. You got rear vents here for the rear occupants. You'll see here that one of these uh, the slats are misaligned. You can probably fix that pretty easily. Carpet's nice and clean. Seats look great. This is the leatherette. I think they call it the VTEX. And it's actually much more durable than real leather. It's a synthetic leather. Holds up much better and feels great. To be honest with you, I prefer it. As, do, as well as most of our clients. Oh, you also have an AC power outlet back here in the rear. 115 volts, 150 watts. Door shut nice and solid. I have two switchblade keys and I also have a valet key with this car. See here and then there. Okay. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Pop the trunk. See, I didn't even touch it, so the hydraulic supports work properly. Once again, look at the easy access to the trunk. You unload items from the trunk, it's super easy. And the trunk on these are humongous. Much more cargo volume. I think it's 25 and a half cubic feet, somewhere around there, as opposed to the other vehicles in its class. You got a power outlet back here. You got a spare with your jack. Full side spare, too. 
unlike those uh, mini donuts on most vehicles. Oh, it has golf balls back here too. I have a funny feeling those won't be here when you come to pick it up. I might have to hit those into the woods. <laughs> All right. Now, let's take her for a drive. Let me show you first the, the uh, seats. I guess I'll show you the driver's side on in the rear as well. Very clean. a solid car you can tell just by opening and closing the doors driver's seat so you can tell oh and you got side airbags you got head of curtain airbags steering wheel mounted audio controls you got trip computer outstanding sound system see she fires right up no warning lights on the dash let's turn the AC down some people do send us a question asking what DRL with that warning light is. That's not a warning light, folks. That means daytime running lamps. And that little pedal on there means that you need to put your foot on the brake prior to shifting. See my push? There we go, see? Now, that's distance till empty, 285 miles. And you look, I'm barely over half a tank of fuel. Six disc in that CD changer. Heated front seats, five levels of heat too, so you can adjust it to your liking. Even down here in sunny hot Florida, I usually keep it on too because I have a uh, bulging disc in my back, so it loosens it up, keeps me going. And you'll see here, you'll get this original uh, window sticker when you buy this vehicle. Yeah, it is called VTEX Leatherette Comfort Seats. Eight-way partial power driver's seat with lumbar adjustment, power heatable outside mirrors, cruise, height adjustable telescoping steering column comes out to you moves up and down leather wrap steering wheel single zone air conditioning climatic they call it so uh, it does blow ice cold it's very nice intermittent wipers cruise control Sirius satellite radio remote keyless locking system Sirius needs to be put into your name and a subscription uh, we'll get that going Multi-function trip computer, heated windshield, washer, nozzles, front and rear carpeted floor mats. Those aren't in this car. The previous owner must have kept the floor mats. Okay, so sorry about that. I believe this one also even has Bluetooth. Let me see, like if you push here on the steering wheel, you can pair it to your Bluetooth phone. Oh, you sure can. Pretty awesome. Okay, now let's, let's get into the glove box before we take it for a ride. Okay, those are the original loan documents, so I'm going to shred those to protect the previous owner's information, but that's just how, uh, how much stuff is in here. Got the uh, original radio code, got the business cards to Kelly Volkswagen, to the people it was purchased from, and also I believe it was service. Might have received some services, I don't know, maybe it was lucky. Yeah, it was lucky. You got the uh, all the books here, and I want to show you. We're going to get a lot of questions asking if the timing belt's been changed. I want to show you right here that the service at 110,000 miles says timing belt replace if applicable. So on a TDI, they check it at 110, not 80 like on most other cars. When you look at the service at 80,000 miles, it does not say anything about timing belt. Okay, so no, this one has not been changed to my knowledge. You're welcome to call the dealer, the VW dealer, and see if it has, but I would imagine it has not. Okay, let's start here. You got a stack of records. So many, I won't have time to go over each and every one of them, but you have right here when the vehicle had a thousand miles on it, had a courtesy check. Here's a 6,000 mile inspection on day 90, uh, 6,000 miles. Here's a 10,000 miles, 10,000 mile interval service, a synthetic oil. Okay, here's a 20,000 miles. That's another oil change, and council lid was broken, so I fixed that, fixed the clips on it. 25,000 miles. Bluetooth voice was not clear. They couldn't duplicate the problem, so they probably just didn't have it set up properly, so it does have Bluetooth. Check that out. Uh, this one was a uh, balance the tire. 31,000 miles. Carefree maintenance at 30,000 miles. 39,000 miles. Needed a light bulb. 
41,000 miles, driver's side, headlight was in ops, they replaced the bulb on that. They must not have done both at the same time on the previous service. Check AC at 43,000 miles. No leaks were detected. They replaced the diesel fuel filter. They flushed the brake system. Replaced the pollen dust filter. 45,000 miles. I guess we'll go through all these. Multi-point inspection. Uh, they did replace the injector lines, replaced the distribution rail, replaced all the injectors, replaced the fuel filter, they replaced the fuel tank. So they might have had some bad gas or bad fuel. So it looks like all that stuff's uh, replaced at 45,000 miles, which was good. Like they replaced the fuel pump, uh, clean all the fuel lines. That's awesome. Check that out. It's a few more pages. Yeah, this is all the same stuff. It's just broken out separately. Okay, synthetic oil change. They had 43,000 miles, 58,000 miles. AC blowing humid. Low side pressure was too low, so they fixed that. They installed an AC compressor at 59,000 miles. So you got a new AC compressor as of 59,000 miles. This doesn't really say what they did. Looks like probably an oil change. Mud flaps. Okay, 83,000 miles, which was not too long ago. Uh, this was August of 2011. It performed an update 23H, whatever that is. Did an inspection. Uh, blows humid air, so they did uh, installed a valve, an insert. They installed a compressor. Okay, so they did another compressor. Reserve stage driver's headlight bulb is out. Place leaking valve cover. So you see, it's been taken care of. Nice car, no problems, it's been serviced fully. Synthetic oil has been serviced at the VW dealer. Whoa, got too much stuff in there, there we go. Put it into drive, and it engages instantly. Already in second gear, you can't feel it shift with that dual clutch system, just, just can't even feel this car shift. We're in fourth already, I couldn't even feel it go into third quite amazing the AC is nice and cold the heater does work however it's about 85 degrees right now I'm not gonna turn that on sound system is outstanding brakes feel great I don't hear any grinding or pulsation or anything like that so I think you see what you got oh I hit the phone thing again whoops anyway do not hesitate to bid and do not hesitate to call me and make a realistic offer. My name is Jimmy and I can be reached at 863-670-5420. If I cannot be reached, either leave me a message and I'll call you back as quick as possible or you can contact Joe Howdeshell at 678-907-7363. Thank you for viewing our auction, everybody. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're checking us out on YouTube. And uh, good luck, everybody, and happy bidding.